YouTubers out there, my name is Zach Green, um, founder of ZBest Vaults, and welcome to Pull Vault tutorial number two. It's been a really long time since I've made a video, and I'm happy with the feedback from video number one. Almost 56,000 views on it, which is crazy. And I had tons of athletes and some coaches message me about how to improve their swing up. So I finally decided I'm going to make a second video, and I hope you guys enjoy. So the first drill I'm going to show you guys is not on the bars, and it focuses more on the plant, but this plant really drives into your swing. So it's crucial to watch and to see the motions that are taking place. This is my makeshift PVC pipe pull vault pole. Um, I highly recommend you go purchase some PVC pipe. It's really cheap and inexpensive. Um, you attach a broken pole to the end of it and you're ready to go. So this drill is all about getting your hands nice and high. You're trying to raise them up and push into the pole. It really works on swinging from the hand. So watch up and jump into it. So the biggest key to this drill is really getting those hands nice and high above you. You want to make sure your palms are nice and tall and flat. When you grab the pole, it can be up here. But you want your right arm, your bicep, to be by your ear, and your left arm to come up right in front of it. So both hands are up above. So here I'll turn. Notice how it's nice and tall and they're pretty high up. A lot of the time we think in pole vault, that our hands need to be up and forward. And that's totally incorrect because you block out the pole and it causes you to just go forward. It has no momentum going upwards. So the higher you get your hands up and you lead with your chest, the further you're gonna go in the pit, but the higher you're gonna go up. And that's really gonna help with your swing. So remember, keep those arms nice and tall. Right arm if you're righty, bicep to ear, left arm, nice and tall. Your right arm's the motor pushing the pole forward and your left arm is the steering wheel keeping it up. So once you get a few of just the regular planning up reps done, I highly recommend that you try pushing the pole forward. So keep your chest up and push forward right in front of you. And I'm going to show you a few examples right now. And holding the drive phase doesn't hurt either. Okay, did you see that? If not, I'm going to play it again. Watch the left arm push the pole right there. See it moving it forward so the legs can get back and I can get up and over the bar? I need a bigger pole because I'm blowing through it, but it's a beautiful example. Getting the hands nice and high at takeoff and pushing the pull forward. That box drill really works really well for this. So the next drill that we do is a rolling drill. And basically, it really works on body awareness and where you are on the pole. So I'm going to lay out some instructions while you're watching the video, and it's going to show you how to do them. I recommend, if it's your first time, if you have access to pits, maybe using the flap of the pit, the side, and um, rolling down on that because it makes a triangular shape, and that way you're able to roll down on a downhill slope. So if you don't have that pit, um, lay down a towel on the grass or a blanket. We'll just make it a little softer for you. Um, make sure it's all straight, nice and neat. And then afterwards, what you want to do is make sure your hands are flat. Get them nice and high for position. Make sure you hold the knee drive up 
and you put your hands up and knees ready. Hands palm side up, squat down and roll back. Um, don't do the full extension up, just roll back for right now, beginner drills. And really make sure that your hands are open so that way they're not closed and you can get back on the drill. Remember, squat down and roll back just nice and light. For the first ones, just bring your knee to your chest and shoot it up. Don't go straight to handstand right away. If you feel comfortable, do the full thing. Push up off your arms. Um, have someone assist you the first few times because I can guarantee your arms not, aren't going to be strong enough to push you all the way up and back. But the key thing is to roll back, try and get your body as straight as you can, and pike up and over. So many vultures get stuck in this position right here, and it's known as the bucket or the L. Once you're stuck here, it's really hard to move out of it and to get straight. So you really have to push on the shoulders down and bring all your body up. Try not to shoot out with the legs, but try and shoot up with it. So here I'm in the bucket, but watch what happens when I push my arms. I'm able to move a bit more and get above the pole. So watch what happens with a stiffer pole and if you move the swing a little quicker so you're not in the bucket. The straighter the arms and the further back you go, the easier it is to get back and get inverted and get higher above the bar. Another key thing that impairs a lot of vultures is their left arm. They like to put it on the outside of the pole when they have to put it on the inside. I must call it like a chicken wing, like you're trying to tuck the arm in, and that's gonna allow you to get further back on the pole and get higher up. Hopefully with lots of practice and time on this, you'll be able to end like this, getting fully inverted all the way back and being able to reach up for the bar. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope that this helps a little more. Um, I guess I'd call this the intermediate level to the swing up tutorial. The first one was really basic, like really for beginners. And um, this one's a little more difficult and um, hopefully I make a third one pretty soon that's gonna be a bit more complex with a bit more steps and um, more for advanced vultures but um, I hope you guys enjoy thank you for watching um, feel free to message me email me at zbestvaults at gmail.com if you have any questions or comment below have a wonderful one guys bye